because you chose the card. Now place your hands also like this. Like this. Yeah, like this. Yeah. And watch, it's gonna try to snap this uh, blank card slowly and think of the ten of them is just like that and that is the ten of diamonds. The card you like that's just that's clever, isn't it? In a second, 52 cards. How did I manage? How the hell I managed? Yeah. Yeah. It's very good. What happened with the light on? Very potent. What's up with the illumination? The illumination is there. That is weird. Oh, that's good. Trabajo. No, well, no, no pasa nada igual. No, dime, dime. Pero era perfecta para la vista, ¿no? I think it was perfect. The lighting for the for the side. He put it like this. Like a soccer field. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Something more subtle, you know, more Jesus. <laughs> now I want to show you a, a classic of car magic. About every magician in the world knows how to perform this particular piece that I'm about to do now. It's called, uh, obviously they do it uh, with different techniques, but this is called oil and water. Uh, usually it just uses uh, eight playing cards, four red cards, high uh, spots, high values, so it's more visual, and, sing and four black cards, which I will choose similar cards, right? And as we know, there's no possible way to mix these two elements, right? The oil and the, and the water, we know that. They have different, for once, they have different density. Uh, we're not gonna go into the you know, whole theory of why, but I just want you to imagine, just for a moment, as a metaphor that each of the uh, red cards, or each of the black cards, let's say, uh, represent one particle or one liter of oil. So on one hand, we'll have one, two, three, four liters of oil. On the other hand, the water represented by the red ones, right? But if I would get to mix, let's say, uh, one red with three black, and a black card with three red, of course they should have uh, it should get mixed. But again, as we are imagining, picturing these two colors as two elements as oil and water, then we can imagine that there's no possible way to mix the oil with the water, and then on this side, the water with the oil. And I could try, let's say, maybe with uh, two cards, why not, to make it even more complicated. Um, two red with two black, and two black with two red. Two and two, definitely, they should get mixed, right? But then again, we are taking these two colors, at least metaphorically, as oil and water, and so water cannot be mixed with, uh, with, with the oil, for example. And then the oil cannot be... Look, Alexa is already, you know, like, uh, in shock, like... Uh, <laughs> she's already angry, you know? <laughs> but I never tried this before with three cards, so I'm, I'm not lying. This is the most complicated part, but either way, three and three, I like to say that this shouldn't be magic, right? This shouldn't be illusion, but more like science, because nobody ever in history of science could ever mix the oil and water. And so that means internally, black cards on one side, or oil, of course, and the red ones being water on the other one. That's oil and water. Oh, that's really good. Brilliant. Very good. It's a very strange, uh, very strange que lo estoy firmando, que no te estoy firmando. Venga, venga. You know, I um, I like a lot the, how do you say, the 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 tricks, not the trick, the uh, techniques to kind of cheat at poker. Um, I don't play poker, but I like all the war behind the, like, the car shards. So these guys uh, actually have different techniques than magicians. Sometimes people relate magicians with the ability of actually cheating at cards, but actually not really, because the techniques that we use are different. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I have a good friend of mine from, uh, from Las Vegas, um, Jonathan. This guy is able to um, cut four for kind. So let's say, four of a kind, by the way, do you have a, um, you, do you have a favorite uh, four of a kind by that? I mean, which group of cards do you like? The sevens, the tens, the nines, the aces? Well, not the aces because it's one lucky. Nines. Nines, for any uh, reason, no. I always like to, when people. Open spend, 
<laughs> no, when people choose the, the cars, I like to ask them why, because sometimes people have like very strong reasons behind a car selection. It's something very personal, but sometimes it's just random, right? See, she's laughing, but it might be something. <laughs> so I'm gonna basically memorize the location. There's a nine here. Uh, actually, yes, actually there are different ones. So I'm gonna memorize, like have a peak, that's how you say. I will try to start with this nine, not the, the nine of, maybe the nine of hearts because people like it, but it's more in the middle, maybe this one because it's closer to the top, the nine of clubs. That's the first nine that I'm gonna try to locate. By the way, my friend from Vegas, this guy, is able from a shuffle deck to cut four piles on the table and find four of a kind at the same time, yeah. right? Yes, he can cut, <laughs> shuffle, whatever. And this guy, look, he can, I, I don't know how to do it that way, right? He can do this, like this. I don't know how to do it like this, you see? No. But I will try to find your uh, four nines, one at a time, in four different ways, let's say. Um, so maybe let's go with the first one. Um, so by intuition, any way, anywhere you feel by intuition there could be a nine, close by, just I say stop. I was a little bit uh, yeah. choppy, sorry. Stop. Okay, so this again forces me to locate nine from this uh, spot. I'm gonna memorize a few groups. Oh look, there was a nine there. But I said I was gonna find the nine of uh, clubs, the first one, right? Okay, just there. Actually, I think I got them all at the same time. Watch, don't. Oh, no, I have the first one. That's yes, the nine of uh, clubs. Now, uh, could you please uh, say stop any time? Stop. Now, that's not a nine, but not many people know the nines are magnetic cars, meaning they attract to each other. So any different car I rub against a nine for a few seconds should kind of instantly attract in a blink like a second nine. Like not many people believe this, but just in case I don't blink. Yeah, and that is the second nine, space. So that's two, uh, two, two more to go. Those will be the red ones, hearts and the diamonds. And this is a very old technique, almost ancient. Uh, memorize again some cards. This is called location card or key card. What is a key card? It's just an indifferent, any random card that helps to find a specific playing card. So six of diamonds will be my location card. Uh, you chose the nine, so you will do the rest. I will go through the pack briefly, and you will say stop. Again, somewhere where you feel by intuition, there could be a nine close by. Stop. Now let's see your watch. I think you can have fish. That's the third nine of hearts. So the last one with the nine of diamonds. And the nine of diamonds, uh, you, you go ahead, just uh, pick any, any car from the deck, from anywhere, but I can see because I don't have to find the car. So the last one is the nine of diamonds. So if the car you get is a nine uh, diamonds, that would be great for me. Let me see. Four of space. Okay. So uh, basically, he's corrupt. This is, you know, I was not. Are you right handed or left handed? Which car are you handed? Right. All right, okay, yeah, so yeah. get your, your hand like this, and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try to, I think I'm gonna make one cut in the middle. Just focus on that. I hope it falls in four seconds. Just four, three, two, one. That's the last one. I think it's the, yeah, the nine of that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's <laughs> right there. That's the first place, when you saw that? Hmm? That was the first place, right? Hmm. How the hell was that even possible? I have no idea. You have no idea about it? No idea. And, uh, wow. Oh, I forgot to. Yeah. I think they go to selections, but to the deck. Okay, and I have. Uh, I will try to do one more uh, illusion that I like to close with. Uh, a lot of playing cards, like you saw tonight. Again, it's, it's my, my, my weapon of power, I guess, so to speak. Um, let's say, uh, could you please uh, take any card, doesn't matter. I'm gonna try maybe do something with two playing cards or just one. Okay, so we have again 52 cards in the deck, right? And I'm gonna take the choker as well. No, I don't really have the choker here. Okay, so I will improvise something differently. Um, okay, again, I'm gonna do something very strange uh, with your card. Could you please take your card and let me see, is, is it a, a, a low card? Because sometimes, oh, it's a picture card. Yeah. Okay, well, we still need to try. <laughs> okay, go ahead, don't be shy, and uh, just rip the card in half. 
Yeah, that's actually yeah. something that no yeah. illusionist yeah. can do. Yeah. Yeah. No, what did you do, Ryan? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's it. Um, put those uh, pieces together, by the way, and just keep on uh, breaking the car in as many pieces as you can. In the meantime, I'm going to just... Yeah. This piece of paper contains all of the magical formula of what is about to happen. Just going to do it here. So I'll keep going. Oh, it's yeah, you really not took it seriously. Just keep on ripping, yes, the car. Let me see how you do it there. Yes, just put the pieces and, and, and break them. Can't even do this. Can you do this? <laughs> Why are you drinking a lot tonight? What the hell is going on? <laughs> did you have your power nap? Okay, let's let's see what you did. Let's just give me the, the all the go. pieces together. It's gonna shuffle them. And could you please, because you chose this car, uh, place your two hands like this separate? Yes. yes. So I'm gonna give you maybe a piece of the card. Yeah, it's, it has to remind us. Uh, yeah, which card you chose? Maybe the the index. Close this one. And uh, all the pieces here, I'm gonna place them in this other hand. This one, leave it open. Okay. But just uh, pay special attention on that. That's a piece of paper, like I said, that I introduced in the beginning, which contains all of the magical formula that is gonna happen here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all those pieces. I'm gonna make, you know, like, like a fist here and place them on top. Now, I just want you to think of fire as well. Why I'm saying this? Because this is red color, the back of the car. So I want you to imagine as a metaphor that the red color of the cars from the back is some kind of metaphorically uh, metaphor fire, but eventually will be physical. We'll see. This is an experiment, by the way, of Chan in time and space. I'm just gonna put the pieces there, and remember the uh, the piece of the paper that is very important. This contains all of the magical formula of what is about to happen. Watch. Just a second. And the idea is. It travels just like that. Gone. Watch. But you know, sometimes even people say the secret is in the lighter. Nah, that's a joke. But you know what? I said this is a trip in time and space. So your car should be by now somewhere, not far from us. Actually, uh, I'm not sure where. I guess we already use it. Uh, well, actually, it's going to sound strange, but uh, could you check maybe uh, close to you, maybe behind the cushions for a prediction or something? Is there something? Like a... Oh my god, yeah. Is it's there something? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see something? Can you take it? This is like there. a card? Yeah, here. Yeah. I never even got close to you. Is that folded in four cards? And fold the card. What was your card again? The check code? Let's make sure it's the same card. Oh, wait a second, there's a piece Mr. missing. Oh, Open, make sure it's a hundred percent match. The piece of the car you chose randomly, you broke it, you took the piece, oh, you broke it in your hands, and that's oh. a perfect time oh, and space travel. Thank you very much. That's the end of the show. And that's, that's my, my finale, my collection. So thank you for having me. By the way, keep hey. those two pieces as an impossible oh, well, souvenir. You, Alexa, keep oh, your sign, lucky angel hearts. And anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your time.